Like, you end the game with 30 rings. Like, my role play is I'll just open up a ring shop and sell these to people, you know? Some of these rings are awesome, and I could make them mint, but that's just... People wouldn't buy them all. Like, hey, can I trade in this for this? And then I'll become a general goods store. Like, yeah, yeah but it's only good for store credit. Because I would never go... I would never have the business. And I would need gold for each purchase, you know? Um, so... And be like, oh, this is 300. I only have 150. I'll take 150, and you can sell me stuff for store credit. Can I just sell you a bunch of stuff for store credit? You store credit? No. You must give me gold for each purchase. Otherwise, how am I going to stay in business? So I have to have a bit of gold. I don't even call it gold. Just gold, please. Scroll of Heal 4. You know, I might use that scroll. That's like a potion right there. That's just pretty good. He got chilled. Nice. Now I really wish I had that staff. I mean, you know, my damage would have just been off the charts. My damage actually would have been comparable to Endgame. I, like a 23 versus 7. Damn it, I would have had probably 35 max damage. I'm regretting it now. But I, but the but the regen, the negative 4 regen. That's the way this game works. If you don't have regen to counter it, you take damage. Anytime it would heal you, it's actually you know, hurting you. It's... <sighs> Why did it have to have it? Why? You know, like, give me a staff that's just like that with no negative regen. I don't know, I would just love to swap it out. Uh, a key. Eh, yeah, skull. Good. I don't really care about this. Do I even care about the fucking skull at this point? Oh, heavy armor and a feather. The feather's not going to matter. But... This is defense 6, you know? And I get 25 magic power. Defense 21! A straight up upgrade. Let's enchant and see what I get. Oh fuck it, 7 agility and 5 damage prevention. The damage protection is good along with the defense. I lose a quarter. My magic is only going to be 75% as effective as it once was. And the 6 strength. I will lose maximum damage. Um, for using this armor. Yeah, I lose I lose one minimum and one maximum. But... The defense is really hard to argue. Now I have 70 defense. Um, Bell of the Dead, or... I don't care about this. I don't hate damage. Use the feather. Nothing happens. Another scroll will heal four. In hindsight, I probably should have taken that. But, you know... Oh my goodness, it's Christmas! I've got a small pack of 18 stones! That's kind of cool! Um, 17 defense, life steal, 6 agility. 21 defense, 7 agility. The only benefit about that is the life steal. Full plate armor! I just got that and I get a full plate armor! Well, this is 21, that's. that's 29. Required strength, 36. Dude, just level me up. Defense 11. Six travel distance. Move speed, travel distance. Hmm. Dress myself up like a paladin. Um, because that's only defense 7. That's defense 11. Um, the move speed is comparable. I really don't need, you know... And travel distance versus life steal. Life steal's not gonna matter. Let's be honest with ourselves. You know... Life steal, what? What? I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, two health points from someone when I hit them. Travel distance and move speed. You know these these boots are kind of cool, but they're already enchanted, so I can't enchant them again. Um, I need to be giving up nine intel though. I'm down to forty MP. Uh, I don't want to drop below that. The gold wand, fourteen magic regen. That's something worth enchanting. Potion. Oh god damn it. Worth it. Please give me a chill effect, that'd be so cool. Uh six intel. Hmm. Nine critical bit of chance. Good for a crit build. Um full plate armor, I'm probably wanna keep. Give me a strength point, you know. I could 
enchant it. What I get out of it? Seven intelligence and sixteen percent magic. Fine, it's crap. I lose the five percent damage protection, which you know with the shield and that together, I could negate a lot of damage. But the seven intel is pretty cool, um, and the damage just the defense in general is great. I don't want that one because it's what I wanted. I don't think chills an effect you can put on a gold one. I think each item has. I don't think it's random. I think there's a set draw pool for each item. That's the. That's, that's the. That's the, the. What I'm getting out of this. Um, uh, there's a guild shop and a potion shop right there. In in the general store. The general store might have a bag. It does have a backpack. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping. It has just a, a, a straight up 25 stone backpack. Jesus Christ. Um, my inventory is awesome now. Hey guys, look at this. <laughs> Life is sometimes cool. I can buy all of the things and not feel sad about it anymore. Sweet. Now it makes me wonder, how many of those dungeons actually can spawn on the map? Just four? Because I know three have to spawn. But I guess afterwards it's just random how much you get. These bright greaves plus one. Intelligence. I could probably sell those. Mm hmm. I've upgraded to like plate mail and shit. I look like a paladin now. All I need is the matching. Like, how about this bright stuff? Um, I just need one more strength. And those boots, I guess time to retire those two. Um, how about the mighty? First I'm going to grab these potions, of course, because I'm a potion whore. And I love me some potions. And I got me a whole bag here just to fill up with potions. Would you grab, would you grab the, thank you, god, it's like, a, it's like an obstinate child. Alright, uh, hmm. I could light that beacon, but... And get the artifact, and then uh, sell the artifact because I don't need it. You know, um, would that be the that would be the sword artifact, wouldn't it? I think the third one over. Yeah. I have an invisibility potion over here. Got a potion of cure all, heal scroll four, very useful actually. Mana potion, the invisibility potion, and that potion over there. Kind of want to just have a mana potion bag, healing potion bag. And then an everything else potion bag. <laughs> that's that's 25 stones though. Uh, and I already have 15 stones worth of weight in it. So uh, maybe I could. Uh, okay, mana potion. See these full heal potions, invisibility potions up there too. Um, let's see. I wonder if I should put weight crystals somewhere else. Not sure at the moment. I guess it doesn't matter with only six pounds of weight. I don't have to worry too much about this inventory management. But like, it kind of nickels at me when I don't do it, and then I do it at waste screen time. So, you know, whatever. I know I still have that mighty garb, but I'm still like iffy on a lot of these things. But then again, I, I'm falling into the trap that most gamers do. It's like I might want to use it, and then you never do. And you're satisfied with what you get, and then that's that. You know. There's another chest up there. I wonder if I should go for it as well. Skull armor, obsolete. I've already um, I've already passed its prime on defense, raw defense. High robe, I could try and enchant that with twenty-five percent magic power, but I don't really think it'll make a difference because I kind of just want to equip the plate mail. But I mean, base twenty-five percent magic power. Yeah, it's like my armor bag of maybes. It takes up almost the entire weight. Oh, that plate is heavy. I'm strong enough to carry it around on my back, but I'm not strong enough to put it on. It's too, it's too heavy. It's too cumbersome. So the potion shop. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, it's, it's all the fun things. Okay. So, you know, use that. Get a free point. Oh, I could give me the strength point that I need so desperately. Yeah. Put the mana potion in there. Put the visibility potion in there. I mean, 18 pounds in just potions is heavy. Uh, yeah, eight, nine, ten. 
Yeah, potions get heavy. I could go and get that chest. Hell, maybe even that quest. Well, I don't really care about the quest. Deep Sea Serpent. Sea serpents have horns on their nose. They're snakes with horns. They're the unicorn snakes. Yeah. Unicorn. Ah, see what I did there? Unicorn snake. What's the, um, what's the family of snakes called? For instance, you get the family of rodents. It's like mustine, uh, which is like the weasels, the ferrets, uh, things like that. Foxes, vulpines, you know. Uh, so, or, yeah. <laughs> By the way, the old name for a fox is called Renard. R-E-Y-N, like Renard. R-E-N-A-R-D, or R-E-Y-N-A-R-D, Renard. It means fox. <clears throat> In case you didn't know. Ring of Warding, yes. Finally retire the Traveler's Ring. I don't really care about the, the, the spear over there. How good could this treasure possibly be? You come across the Wanderer. He doesn't notice you. What's your treasure? Heavy <clears throat> light plate. Seven vitality. I bought it and don't want it. You can have it back and resell it. Regift it to someone else. So, yeah, I don't even want it. I mean, just uh, Money's not really an object to me right now. So And here's the shadow. <clears throat> Might as well try it out. The chest, I mean. It's an invisibility potion, and it's a full moon spear, which is, yeah, no thanks. I mean, the invisibility potion, maybe, but let's, uh, let's block him and then just die, Mr. Man. Ah, oh, motherfuck, minutes. He died from the spell, anyway. Yeah, that's why I level 5 on that, so, so damn useful. Splatter, splatter, splatter. No, ooh, yeah. And then it stuns them, so yeah. It's like you throw the magic in them. It hits someone's chest. They're like, okay. And then all of a sudden, pff, blows up from inside. There's a monster up there. Yeah, I don't even know if I care. <clears throat> I just need to get to the portal. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, there's the portal. You know, I could just teleport. I don't have to walk into the shadow. Teleport. Teleport. <laughs> there are two bandits. Don't really care, but you know, I can't avoid them, and that's fine. They'll they'll smash themselves to pieces. Uh, Thirty-two splatter, 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 and he's dead. And then this one. There is a gnat flying around me. It's annoying as hell. Like it, they always go for your goddamn ears too. It's like. What the fuck? Bomb? Why? There's a, there's a potion I don't need. There's a bandit knife I don't need. And loot the bandits. Not really caring. Search the treasure. Invis crystal staff. Hill 3. Not that useful right now. Not that I'm going to ever equip that anyway. Should I teleport? I don't really have that many mana potions, actually. You know, I could level up in there. I'm level 17. I should probably put the plate mill on. Intelligence and magic item find. Yep. Time to go from 74 to 82. For defense. That's a pretty substantial upgrade. And we're off. Approach. Enter. I have... I don't really have that many mana potions, but I have a shit ton of invisibility potions. And I was saving them up specifically for this. I don't really care if I level up. I just want to get to the hands. The torches. It doesn't matter if you go to the throne. The throne's going to be empty until you light all the torches. Approach. It is empty. Is that lava, do you think? Or is it just red water? Invisibility is about to wear off. It just did. But I've got more. This is why you save all your invisibility potions. If you're going to hell, it's not really hell, it's like basically just the demon world, then there you go. There's a torch up there, but you know most of them are going to be down here. Like, who would want to rule this world, seriously? 
make there's no trees there's no rivers there's mountains everywhere there's demons everywhere i don't even think that water's safe to drink speaking of that is there, there's no satiation in this game you can just keep traveling forever ah uh, he found me level 21 demon he still hits pretty hard man all right the demon attacked me for 25 damage that's, that's an ouch that, that was 12 damage, okay. And that was 20, 28. Yeah, demon attack, 28 damage. And that was with the shield up. So 7 damage protection? 7% 7 damage protection. Like, imagine if I get an orb that's 10, 10, and 10. 10 strength, 10% 10 damage reduction, and 10 damage. That is basically a shield. Even though you don't get the defense, you get the damage reduction. So if they hit you for 20 damage, you would get 2 less. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, I know. But still, you know, you don't get any block protection. But, you know, whatever, right? Uh, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna do... Yeah, I mean... Clear your mind. Like, electric skin, is this a thing that you could, I could, like, grind up, like, next level? You know? I should probably equip Astral Decay instead of Prey, because Prey is probably not going to help much as it stands. And I got a lot of health potions right now, so I'm pretty set on that. You can even change these skills during combat if you're swift enough, and that's useful. I never really utilized that, but I did once swap weapon during combat. Um, you can swap gear. You can swap it during any time. Stand before you. Listen, snuff the flames, and the Lord of the Underworld will appear. He only appears for the strong. Extinguish these old flames. And defeat the Guardians now. You know. So, why not? I'm still, like, still nervous because I just feel... I got 311, I got really good defense. He hit pretty hard. I had the shield up and he hits he hits hard. He only did 10 damage that time. Oh, he got stunned. 46 damage! Shit, man. Blocking at 17 damage. Yeah, these guys, man, they're not pushovers. And I don't do that much damage, don't forget. I've been settling with these wands forever. Just because of the chill factor and the magic regeneration. Uh, it was a theme I was going for. Okay, I'm still getting my ass kicked by this level 19 unburied. Which is basically his own. He's got flies all around him. How could there be flies in there? I don't know. Honey food moisture, I guess. Three, three. Maybe electric skin. I don't think I need any of these items. Maybe vigilance. Just faster few attacks. Or I can just keep going all out with um with uh, uh, electric skin. Because I already have level two. You know, it'd be a shame not to get it. <laughs> Level 18. Nothing found. Loot. Nothing found. They don't have artifacts. I have four stat points. Do I feel squishy? I have 344 health. Or do I just want more damage? 15 to 19. I'm feeling 16 to 20. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Plus one, plus one. Now I'm back to where I was before I swapped out. Uh, the, the strength for the other thing, you know. I think it was the helmet, maybe. Use invisibility. So how many of these things are there? Four? Three? That was one. I guess there are three of them. Yeah. Approach. Listen. Snuff the flame. I said snuff it. Avoid, avoid, oh, I got hit, I got hit, I got hit, I got hit, I got 
poisoned. That's all right. I got I got a couple antidotes just for this occasion. Avoid. God damn it! Now I'm layered poison. And poison does die. The, the dots do stack. There's no limit. Now they do wear off in, over time, but if you don't have poison resistance, it takes a very long time for poison to go away. Ah. And you got defeated. You have no loot. I have an antidote. Delicious. Delicious. Or in question, delicious? Butter for one, 880 calories per bar, yes. Still invisible. One last torch. There's nothing at these beacons, you know, no events or anything. Probably could make it to that torch with the invisibility I have left. Because the, it's interesting that the, the, the throne was pretty close to the entrance. You stand at a bright blue flame. Snuff it out. 680. And he hits... Oh, he threw a fireball at him. He, he just He just throws... He just throws five fireballs at you every time. Sometimes. Other, other times he attacks for 22 damage with my shield up. And I'm burned. I have the burn effect. Yes, I got burned. I'm not sure what that does. I guess I could hover over it and find out, but... Uh, nine damage with a block. That's not bad at all, you know, for a guardian. Without the block, 26. So my blocks are negating quite a bit of that damage. Um, 9 to 36? Yeah. It's like 27, isn't it? Yeah. Time to heal. I should heal again, probably. Uh, or I should just teleport. Yeah. Am I invisible? No, I'm not invisible. I'll just attack him. But I'm almost at a level up, so you know I almost don't care. I wanna, I wanna level up. Might have to heal anyway. Because these guys hit pretty hard. I didn't level up. But he does, they do randomly drop those crafts potions, and that's pretty decent loot. You know, every battle they get plus one stat point. I'm thinking maybe intelligence or... Yeah, I might have to heal a little bit. Yeah. I just need one more attack, and I'll level up to level 19. Seriously, I'm not going to get attacked one more time. There we go. This guy throws curses at you. I just want to suffer through all of his attacks and level up. Because I probably can be fine with this. There you go. Choose a new skill. Alright, probably electric again because I'm already, you know, doing that. Vigilance will give me another faster attack, but... I'm just, I guess I'll just keep doing electric skin. It's almost maxed. I don't like being in the middle. I like to be towards the high end of things. Reflect 26%. Mighty Ring of Frenzy, 9 strength and critical hit chance. Good if you're doing a crit build. Time to get all the crit chance you can get. Forget the other effects of rings. Crit chance is awesome. Now, I still have 4 stat points. Am I thinking damage? Or am I thinking, I don't really need mana. I could get that plus one, plus one for the strength, I guess. Because I really don't need that much more intelligence, to be honest. Not with how the build plays. Maybe some agility, because faster attacks are faster attacks, but... The intelligence at 39 is annoying me. There you go. And... That just bugged me. And... Vitality? Just... Just because, you know? Three points in vitality give me six more hit points, but. 
and you get more hit points per level up with vitality. I think it's retroactive too, so if you level up again with more vitality, you'll get more hit points, I think. Because there's a mathematical formula about what your hit points should be based on your vitality, I think. If that's the case, you could level up with a bunch of vitality gear and cheat the system. At least for a couple levels. I don't, but then again, I don't think that's how the game works. Probably does base vitality. I'm thinking this might be like I cast this once, you know. Okay, so I used a couple potions, so I have some free space. I don't have that many mana potions. Invisibility potion. I'll just pop that. I guess I can use a strength potion because it, take, it takes a while for it to wear off. Step points. Scroll of heal. 84 defense. 16 to 20 damage. And maybe get that 17 to 21 or that's better. 387. Time to go. There is a giant dark throne. The demon king sits upon the throne. He doesn't really seem to notice you. He asks you why you've summoned him. Help the world. You want me to save your overworld from its doom? Why should I care? We're safe down here. Bargain. Sacrifice yourself to me. Give me your soul and I will save your sorry overworld. Or defeat me and gain the power to save it yourself. These are your only options. You know, nobody on YouTube does sacrifice self. They never show that ending. And while I want to fight him, I mean, I really want to kill him. What if I just sacrificed myself and showed you guys that ending? I mean, I, I did all this preparation, but at the, when, at the end of the day, it's still an ending. And I'll still unlock the demon blood. It's, it's just gloating rights, I guess. You get a little bit more gems if you win that way. But there's no penalty. And nobody shows sacrifice self. And, you know, I am an ascended. There you go. Sacrifice yourself to save the overworld? Yes. I feel guilty for doing that that way. The king of the underworld, <laughs> he one-shots you. <laughs> the king of the underworld kills you and kills the shadow king. One shot, level nine is ended, servant of the underworld. Servant of the underworld is my title. I serve the underworld. Oh, goodness. That actually was worth a chuckle. And I guess I can use these gems to unlock some things like plus 40 gold at start, you know. So that's that. I'm not really proud of that, but at the same time, I'm glad I saw it. Who wants gibberish font, seriously? Like, that would be hard mode and a half. You couldn't read anything. Oh, it's funny. I think I'm just thinking maybe the cursor gold sword. Nah, I'll get the cheaper stuff. And maybe tab. I like I like the tab hotkey. I don't use the other ones. Ask for open status screen. Open the main bag. These themes I don't really like that much. Custom packs. Custom image packs would be really nice for as a mod for this game. I'll take the golden sword cursor. And that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. The Ascended Run, who then sacrificed himself to save the overworld. Really, I'm not that disappointed, to be honest. But I did want to fight him to see if all my preparation would have paid off. Um, but you have to have a victory in order to unlock the demon blood. So dying during the combat wouldn't have unlocked him. If I'd already unlocked him and did this run, I would have fought him for sure. But I wanted to unlock him, and I wanted to see the new ending. That's not really an ending so much, because it's a you died. There's only three endings where you get a crown. Anyway. There's the milk... And he gets a grave and not a crown. Hope you enjoyed. I think I'll upload this finally. Um, and we'll just call it a day. So, thanks for watching.